2021 is just around the corner and you guys are probably setting up some sort of New Year's resolutions. I think one of the best things that you guys can do is to learn something new. And if you're trying to learn something new, I believe that machine learning is one of the best things that you guys can learn. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly why machine learning is one of the top skills that you guys should pick up for 2021. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Smita. 2020 has truly been a crazy year. A lot of things have changed around us, but I think one of the biggest changes we've seen is in the way that people work. A lot of companies are going remote and also they have started to adopt a lot of a lot of automation. A lot of automation has been adopted all throughout our economy and that also means that the level of adoption of AI and machine learning into various companies and their services has increased by a lot. So what does that mean for 2021? Well, it means that we can definitely uh, hope to see the same sort of trajectory of the level of adoption of AI and machine learning. So we can definitely expect to see a huge hike in jobs requiring machine learning and AI skills. According to the World Economic Forum, the top three jobs that we can expect to see the greatest rise in demand in is a data analyst, a data scientist, machine learning engineers, machine learning specialist, AI specialist, and also big data specialist. So the data has clearly spoken and the field of machine learning and data science is one of the most highly valued skills that you guys can possibly have. I also want to look at the level of opportunity that is available in the different jobs within machine learning. So for example, uh, artificial intelligence specialist, there's a huge scale of opportunity, which means that there's tons of job openings out there who are looking for artificial intelligence specialists. The same is also with uh, data scientist and data engineer. Uh, but jobs like big data developer, and business intelligence developer, uh, they're considered niche. So there's not, uh, there's probably a lot of jobs openings for them as well, but there's probably an equal amount of uh, people applying. There's also probably a huge amount of people applying as well. Um, but I think this table, which highlights the skill gaps, is probably one of the most interesting ones that I think you guys should check out as well. So essentially it's, showing what is the skill, skill gap uh, for workers who are transitioning into these sort of jobs. So when it comes to AI and data science and machine learning, you can see that they have a pretty significant skill gap compared to other uh, roles that they can be applying to. So this essentially means that, you know, there is technically no excuse. If you're someone who thinks that uh, only people who are in data science and machine learning are applying to these roles or only people with significant background experience are applying to these roles. That's not true at all. Clearly, uh, people from all different backgrounds and people who are also from uh, completely different technical roles are applying for uh, machine learning and data science jobs as well. So guys, even as we head into 2021, I think the effects of the pandemic and especially the way that it has affected how people work are going to be permanent in many ways and also the trajectory that the tech industry is taking towards ai and machine learning is is a pretty permanent trajectory so if you guys are planning on learning uh machine learning and data science 2021 is your year and you guys should definitely get started i have a bunch of videos where i tell you guys exactly how to get started in learning machine learning and also other videos where i tell you really great resources for free as well so definitely check out those videos thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video